really hard business. It's extremely difficult to break through, and not only to break through, but to maintain the longevity. Scorpions has a huge production, and so ours is, we're the opening band, and so we're not as grandiose with the production. What we do have for this, uh, for this run is, is very unique. If things are flowing, you never, I, I never want to stop. And that's why on any given day or night. Past couple nights, I'm out here to, you know, one, two, three o'clock in the morning. One might catch a glimpse of the sparks or hear the crackling sound of steel sculptor Sean Lowry as he woefully welds from his garage. I have a separate garage, it's nothing but parts. A lot of the stuff I get, I mean, it's just covered in grease. Or out in the drive of his Clearwater home. I'm a musician, so I'm able to create art. Grinding away on the looming deadline. What, day eight? Of his next big build. Everybody has, has their own story. But not like Sean's. When you're working with metal, you know, you're able to smack some metal around, so. I go to a different scrap yard. Where he picks up parts. 3 8 chain, I like that. That has made his art the talk of the town. It spoke to me, and that's exactly what I wanted. People dig us. They want that. You know, they want something unique for themselves. Ask anyone that knows him. He's one of a kind. And they will tell you. He's a, a great guy. Imagination is just incredible. He, he's like a brother. To me. He's an amazing artist. I'm a musician, so I started doing staging. So he forged a style. It's freeform. And language. Feng shui. Uniquely his own. Well, there is a reason why people say things are feng shui. That is a real thing. And with his hands, it's great to be able to build these things. The self-taught heavy metal bending aficionado started getting the furniture. Showcases his craft. You know, he took a camshaft and built a, a stool shaft at the Florida Home Show. This table is entitled "The Factory." I've never had any, any piece that I've I've given to a client. My X Factor table that uh, I haven't wanted to keep myself. He blends together gearhead, steampunk, industrial, weaving in authentic innovation. This is actually entitled Melody. He understands um, kind of ergonomically the things that go into uh, having something artistic but still functional. Adding paradiddle nuances. I just kind of see it. That turns each piece into an original. And that the metal dictates the flow. Making the final product a keepsake. This cylinder has a when composing a project, is time and change, uh, Sean molds the metal into avant art. He's definitely turned junk into incredible art. Combining an unorthodox style. They're made well. With a can-do attitude. Just love the way it looks. Has helped him. The first thing people always say is like, what, Mr. What? Make a name for himself. I'm Mr. Sawbladehead. A name anointed him by former bandmates. It really fit my, you know, my alter ego, my character of all the stuff that I built because of obviously this, how over the top and wild the stuff that I built. Sean managed to not only transform car parts into art. To put the spring on because when I'm sitting, I get kind of bored, so I want that movement. But a career. I'm the second generation skilled trades. And brand of his own. I'm fortunate to be one of those artists that isn't just one medium. This is just rock star. In 2011. It's definitely a sight to behold. Sean gained national acclaim for his drum sculpture, Life Tree. I have over uh, 1,300 feet of steel. The creation has taken root and residency in the drum room at the Sam Ash Music Store in Clearwater. All manual cuts and bends and, and hammering steel on steel in order to get the, uh, you know, the textures and hammering to it. As his sculpting business continued to grow. He's done work for uh, Alice Cooper. He managed to drum up an impressive clientele. I built a mic stand for Head from Corn. Build with rock and roll royalty done work for Camelot. He credits his father's indelible influence for his blueprint to success. When I make stuff, I make it to last forever because that's how my dad taught me. The most gentlest, kindness man and, and just a man that, that uh, loved his son. Then tragically on October 12th, 2015. Sir, will mean a lot more when, when you hear that C word. It's just devastating when you have a loved one that's um, in pain, my brother was in the room and he thought it was, and he looked up and, hey, Sean, and then shortly after he passed. 
So it was you know, devastating, but you know, it was uh, great, to, great to hear that he thought I was there. So. To mask the pain of losing his father, Mr. Sawbladehead dove back into glamming it up. I don't use hairspray. The first thing people usually notice about him. Big, big hair. He's got locks of gold. Yeah. Sean, you know. You know, I don't know how he primps it to get it all fluffy like that. It's too poofed out, I gotta poof it down. <laughs> I think it's a wig, by the way. I envy his hair. Jealousy because, you know, but he's got beautiful hair. After all, big hair is a part of his dream job. He loves to put on a good show. Um, if you're going to come and see him live, he wants to entertain. Fulfilling some of my music dreams. To create music with people that I, I enjoy, that's, that fills your soul. Sean's the keeper of time for 90s big hair band Nova Rex. Then while playing a gig, a couple times like after a show, I would literally just, I'll just, just pass out. This was the first time I've ever been a caregiver to somebody that was my heart and soul. Like father, like son. It was terrifying. One year after losing his dad to cancer, modern day man of steel, Sean Lowry, would face his own kryptonite. I was uh, told that I probably wasn't gonna be able to, to drum anymore. It's definitely cancer. With support from family and friends. I have my strong faith and the help of his doctors at Moffitt Cancer Center. And they pulled over 100 tumors out of his neck and his arm, sleeping alone on the other side of the room, on the other side of the house, and knowing we were doing everything we had to do. And it worked. The surgery came out well, and after uh, two years, I'm all good. Bent but not broken. My time's not now. Sean beat back the beast called cancer. I got much bigger things to be uh, accomplishing. Some say life often imitates art. Here we are, uh, Queensryche with the Scorpions. You know, it doesn't get much better than that. Watch out, stop! Most musicians would tell you. To play your hometown arena is an awesome experience. We are not, we are not pressed for time. It's going to be amazing playing here in Emily. Let's not break anything. It's kind of a, a full circle of a, a, a career. Before we do this, can we talk about this? We Always went, wow, I want to play here one day. You, you want to put that in it first. Mr. Sawblade Head takes yet another pragmatic leap forward. Finally get to see my baby in person. Adding yet another chapter to his story. I'm usually one load up my own kid, but it's nice to see a bunch of guys wheeling your kid around an arena. Hey, on your left, look out, we got a lot of overhang. It's one thing to see it on, on video and pictures. It's another thing to actually be here you know, see somebody else playing your work. I've had tons of drum kits, you know, that light up, do all kinds of funny stuff. And, uh, but this one is like my favorite by far. He built an amazing drum sculpture for Casey uh, called the Lotus. It's showtime for Mr. Sawblade Head. Coming down stage with it. Here we are, today's the day. Sean Lowry's arduous trip to the top. Gotta go like that. Hits yet another crescendo. The one of a kind. That's what I wanted to create is pieces that are going to be synonymous with those artists. I think visually that's what keeps people coming back to the show, you know, is make everything just really over the top. Give them a good show. It's like a circus, you know, you gotta you gotta come to town and you gotta you gotta show everything you got, you know, give them everything. The bigger the better. It's a big bling for the for the drum kits. It's like having a piece of art around me all night. You know? Stardom and steel collide at center stage. To see your, your product in the place where it needs to be, it's a, you know, it's a special kind of something. Although Sean isn't up on stage playing. It's a match made in heaven, man. It's awesome. A part of him is. Tonight is Mr. Sawbladehead's drop the mic moment playing out in front of a packed arena. That's success, is doing what you love.